Welcome to Rockcast. Dyson Production. There we go, Funny Man Bra. Admit one. There he is. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me now? Yes. That joke will never die. I don't care <laughs> about it. All right, I learned from our last one to keep it a dispute for my side of it. Oh, man. All right. Give me one second. I need to grab my cup of coffee. Yeah, you're good. Coffee will help. I got them under control, but lately with this added stress, and I just smoke a huge joint. I had one the other day, and then once you have one, the whole gate opens back up again. Uh, right. Oh, what do you got to do? We're just going to chit chat for about 30 minutes. Works for me. Yeah. I might come back and do another one later with a more cool. improved idea of what the fuck I'm doing. Jessica and I are working. She's trying to figure out how to get the information to me quick enough where I can do something with it. But okay. everything's going to be done post-editing or post-filming. You know? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and I got the next two days off, too. So. Cool. Yeah, we could always do it in parts, but <clears throat> I thought about that, too. But keeping the attention span of people is... I mean, one person might watch this whole thing, too, if you count you and I. And everybody else is yeah. going through it. But I'm going to put in clips. I'm yeah. gonna, I want you, if you can, to send me, like, things you would want that would reference what you're going to talk about. Uh, you know, okay. Like, I mean, basically, I got three subjects, it looks like. Rock, on record, black belt. I mean, that's right there. The <laughs> All right, my dude. Let's do this. In three, All right. Two, one. Brock Torano, am I saying that right? What up, Torano? Yes. Torano, that's right. I got it. I got my first Sicilian here. I'm trying really hard not to wake up on a horse head tomorrow morning. In my <laughs> Which, getting it in there would be a bitch because you got to get the gate down and hold the thing up. I'll sneak in the horse head in there. But... Yeah, the Sicilian. Yeah, but I'm Sicilian. I would just pay somebody to do it for me. Okay. Is that noble <laughs> or is that lazy? I don't know. Was the whole hobby? Uh, that's I money to that's make other called, It's called outsourcing. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. So uh, I met Brock through comedy. Uh, fortunately, not through the pawn shop. I think that would have been too different uh, Probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he was a funny motherfucker. Okay. When I first met you, I thought you'd been somebody who'd been doing it for like 10 years or something. Like, like, oh, thank you. Yeah, like, like a pro and everything. I thought yeah. you, you were somebody Joe had brought into the fold from out of town or something. You know, no, like, no. Those cool folks from Tacoma or whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, no, player. no. I've only been doing it for four and a half years now. So when I you first met me, that was like, what, a year ago? A year and a yeah. half ago? Yeah. 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 So I was... Three and a half years in. Three and a half years in. Yeah. That's, and uh, I've been doing comedy <clears throat> or failing miserably and just getting angry and making people laugh at me. They're not laughing with me. They're laughing at me. I said, you, let's see, I'm going to read here. You, uh, black belt at 13. We'll come back to that. Uh, <laughs> first comedian booked at the Sturgis Biker Rally in 2018. See, I don't feel like we're going to be able to cover you in a half an hour. We may have to do one today and one tomorrow. And I'm off yeah, tomorrow too. Yeah, cool. yeah. Start, but fucking, and then uh, I was also interested because I've heard you mention uh, doing stuff with musicians or with yeah, bands. yeah. So, so let's start with that. Hour, Everybody knows you're a fucking comedian. Yeah. Blah, 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 cool guy in yeah. the room here. Whatever. Let's talk yeah. about fucking dealing with douchebags like me. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I actually love the music scene. Believe it or not. Uh, mm -hmm. That was probably the most fun I've had doing stand up. Uh, oh, so you were I was comedian. touring. I'm sorry, you huh? were a comedian? Yeah. With fans? Everybody tells me yeah. it doesn't work. 
And here's what happened. I'm coming back from the bar. I'm feeling great. Windows rolled down, Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf was playing. And I see the lights. And I'm like, oh shit. So I pull over, I'm like, all right. If I can make the cop laugh, this will smooth things over and I'll be okay. So the cop comes up, asks me, excuse me, do you know I pulled you over? And this is my arrest report. I go, yeah. Um, did you think I was a child driving? <laughs> Thank you for laughing. <laughs> he did not laugh. <laughs> he just told me to step out of the vehicle. So I did. I get out of my car, go to the sidewalk. He grabs his breathalyzer, sticks in my face, blow. Which, wow, ladies, I am so sorry. <laughs> I understand now. I mean, the least he could have done was buy me the drink that was about to get me arrested. So that being said, I'm under arrest for a DUI, which stands for driving under the ignition. I hate that joke so much, <laughs> but I put it on his shirt, so I keep, I have to say it. And I had the luck of being arrested by the one cop in Gig Harbor that drives an SUV. Yeah, I'll paint the picture. <laughs> so for me to get into an SUV, I have to physically reach up and climb in. Well, you can't do that with your hands handcuffed behind you. Yeah. So I had to go, excuse me, Ossifer. <laughs> Would you be so kind and help me in the vehicle? And he did. He picked me up, put me in the car, and buckled me in like a fucking toddler. <laughs> and then he took me to time out for a week. <laughs> All right, that's my time. You guys are fun. Thank you for coming out and supporting comedy. Yes, what Brock said. But Thank it, you. It can work. Like I did nice. it for a year and a half. And wow, that's a gig. Yeah, yeah. I was working with uh, Steppenwolf. Legally, I have to say Steppenwolf Revisited, featuring okay. former members of Steppenwolf. I'll make sure to band. add that. I'll run it scroll yeah. across the screen. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you know the band broke up in the uh, late early late seventies, early eighties, and everybody was suing everybody. But uh, so there's actually two different versions of Steppenwolf. There's John Kay and Steppenwolf, and then Steppenwolf Revisited, which was Goldie and his band. Man, that um, breaks my heart. And any band yeah. does that, I'm sorry, you know. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And they're they're still my favorite classic rock band. Like I still. Oh, yeah. What's funny was I like I talk about it on stage, but I was literally arrested. While Born to Be Wild was playing in my car. <laughs> oh, is that your uh, your Dewey story? Yep, yep. Except yeah. for Wolf, uh, is that did that lead to the Sturgis thing, or was that a separate? Yeah, game yeah. So actually, it sounds like Steppenwolf Bikers comedy yep, Sturgis. Yep. And that's the formula yeah. right there. Yeah, exactly. So I was working with Steppenwolf Revisited, and revisited. Uh, yeah, no worries. And. Uh, the shows I was doing were all biker bars. So I was hanging around different uh, motorcycle clubs and uh, performing for them. And they fucking loved me because I am I got that, you know, aggression in my material. Yeah, and I just yeah. don't give a fuck when I talk. Yeah. And so they, yeah, they hate it. that I've shit up. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Jesus, and, what, a, uh, what a parties uh, must have been off the hook because you're talking bikers. Insanity. Yep. You're talking yeah. comedian insanity because we're we're, we're you, you're all like just yeah. everything wrapped up into like laugh at me or i'll kill you and then you yeah, got fucking, i'm sure there may have been some interesting substances floating around in that situation and then music and then rockers yep. i mean the, yep. the level of oh my god the egos must have been like old yeah. godzilla versus weird floppy monster movies <laughs> Absolutely. wow awesome Absolutely. dude See, that's, and, I like, heard snippets of all this, and that's why I was like, this guy's been, like, around for 100 years. He's a fucking <laughs> he's a master. No, nah, man, it was just a – was, I was literally doing it for a year off and on. Like, I was hitting open mics, uh, got my first paid gig, and then started doing paid gigs out in Spanaway. Wait, what, what was that? You busted out into some Latin or something. El paid gig? 
paid, paid gig. gig. Yeah. Paid. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. See, <laughs> yeah, you're, like, you're, you're making right? shit up. No, that's fine. You can do whatever. <laughs> this is your interview. Paid gig. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I started doing uh, shows in, out in Spanaway. And I was going to uh, this one chick's house after a show. I stopped at the gas station to get some smokes and whatever. And this dude started talking to me. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just going, you know, going to my friend's house, friend's house uh, after uh, my show. And he's like, oh, are you a musician? Like, I play guitar. I'm like, oh, no, that's cool. Like, I play guitar off and on. I'm not any good at it, but I'm a stand-up comedian. He's like, oh, I fucking love comedy. I'm, I'm a guitarist. I'm in a band. So I'm like, oh, what, what's your band? And he's like, oh, have you ever heard of Steppenwolf? I'm like, yeah, like I'm listening to them right now in my car. Revisited? Like, What's up? <laughs> yeah, right, right. And uh, he's like, oh, yeah, well, I'm their guitarist. I'm, and I go, no, you're fucking not. That's what I told him. Well, I would have said, I was like, what the fuck, dude? This guy. Yeah, but and he laughs, hands me his card. I'm like, yeah, whatever. And then I wake up and I talk to, uh, I talked to her after I wake up. I'm like, yeah, so this guy gave me his card, said he was the guitarist for Steppenwolf Revisited. And <clears throat> she's like, well, did you look up the fucking card? I'm like, no. She's like, well, you probably should do that before writing it off. It's like, yeah, whatever. So I look it up and I'm scrolling. And I'm like, what the fuck? Holy shit, this is really him. <laughs> and Dude, that'd so, be surreal. That's surreal. Yeah. That's the magic. See, and now you're fucked. Because when that yeah. kind of shit happens, it gets in you now. Yeah. You, you, you're yeah. chasing the dragon, dude. There's no, there's nothing yeah. ever, ever. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, okay. So I start, you know, I he invites me to a show, so I'm like, oh, I'm seeing them live, and they bought my ticket. This is fucking cool. And like, dude, uh, that's and awesome so, shit. yeah, and he's like, yeah, I want to put you in. Uh, we're remaking the Born to Be Wild video. I want to put you in that. I want you like on a motorcycle and we'll have a couple hot chicks like dancing around you. I'm like, that sounds amazing. Like, yeah, let's, yeah. let's fucking do this. Here's my money. I'll pay for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It. Sorry. I'm, I'm and, a comedian. So I'm used to that. Oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, here, here's 20 bucks. Can I get yeah. on stage? And, so, and then <laughs> <That's so sad. laughs> I'm like, That's fine. I know. Uh, and like, so then I go, it's fine. Like, you know, maybe I can talk to this guy like, Hey, you should see my comedy. Maybe I maybe you can look at my comedy, and he's like, "Yeah, no, I already checked you out. You're fucking funny. I want you uh, working, doing a show with us off the books." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> like, fucking yeah, let's do this." So, in 2017, eight, yeah, 2017, uh, I opened for Steppenwolf and Great White in Tacoma. But. So you've got to see, you've got to probably you know, hang out with roadies, hang out with, with, with yeah. groupies, hang out with fucking yep. All producers that. All and that. shit. The opportunities. It's look, look, see, in that, I'm sorry to interrupt, but that to me My, is yeah. proof that you can have all the skill and all the talent in the world, but if you don't get an opportunity that even yep. Yep. a little, like you guys are all my opportunity. Like I'm yep. latching on to y'all like motherfuckers. Like and I, oh, and yeah. I get good enough and then I plan on, Storming the scene and eating everybody's souls. That might be the metal head. Yeah, there you go. Nibbling. Yeah. I nibble on souls now. I'm getting all gray. All right. So, <laughs> well, we could talk about that all fucking day, but obviously that was a goddamn life affirming, life changing event. Yeah. You're 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 a, you're a Sicilian. You like wacky people. You get mad. <laughs> at people. That's what you do. Yeah. I watch TV. That's why I yeah. watch TV. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like the comedians I, I, that pissed me off and quit comedy, they didn't really quit comedy. They're just not around anymore. They're just not around anymore. <laughs> you know, you know, fertilizer for the weed farms. Yeah, exactly. Uh, black belt at 13. Nice. Yeah. I made it. Got the belt. shit kicked out of me on my test. And I did it in the 90s where they weren't all pampered and didn't really give a shit. <laughs> yeah, Okamoto, dude. I yeah, had a motto back in fucking Eagle River, Alaska, dude. That dude was fucking mean. Him and Tonight. Okay. okay. So karate. That's not that that's awesome. That's good to know. So comedian, karate, Sicilian. So you, you do realize I'm building your roast in my head. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. I just I, thought I, on I would hope so. It. I would hope so. Because I'm gonna redo my birthday roast once this fucking like right. Not, the way it. I wanted it set up was like 
the roast, the Comedy Central roast, where it's like they have the main guy that's getting roasted, they have the roast master, then they have the panel comedians roasting, you know, everybody, and then the main guy. That's how I wanted it set up. Are but then it kind of, yeah. There's a way to do that sort of thing during the, during the quarantine, but it's starting to lighten up. I think we'll be back. Yeah. Up. I think, or another wave will come and they'll hopefully force back down. I can't, I don't say they'll force us down because I'm cool. Although, I mean, this is my reality, dude. Anyways, enough about yeah. that. That's where I'm not going. Everybody cares about me. Okay, that's yeah. hard. Fuck my life. Um, so, what were, here's a good one for you. What were you, What? where were you right before this happened? So I don't want to talk about the bullshit, but I do want to know, like, right. what plans disrupted Brock? I mean, did you have... I was supposed to go on tour. I had an entire tour that I, like, put money in and, like, got sponsors oh, and merch man. for that completely got canceled. Yeah. Merch, huh? Yeah. So, yeah. It was a two-week tour. Supposed to... First show was supposed to be at the Hard Rock Cafe in Seattle. Motherfucker! <laughs> Yeah, I was super pissed. So uh, is this a <laughs> reschedule opportunity or is this a, a the virus ate my life situation? Uh, mix you can always reschedule. Like if you're alive, you know this. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm yelling at you. You fucking listen. I'm sorry. Sicilian. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I've got three <laughs> alarm systems in here, motherfucker. I'd like to see you get a horse head in here. And a dog <laughs> who would actually appreciate a dead horse head because that's like a <laughs> oh, Dennis got distracted there in that fucking goldfish brain. Um, I want to use this series. It dawned on me what I could do with this. This is a micro promoting tool. It gives yeah. me the ability to talk to people, and it's not about yeah. me, so people seem to like it. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, I get to talk to all my friends and actually actually communicate. Yeah, quarantine's the best thing that's ever happened to me, man. Fuck all you people. Nice. And you turn the volume down on me, which you don't get to. Hey, you know the audio I mean? cut out. No, that was the me audio showing you. Out. That was me oh. showing you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Oh, I always wanted to be a mime, dude. You should see me masturbate like a ninja. Okay, let's get back to it. I don't even know how much time we've got. It looks like it felt like we've only done 12 minutes. We covered that first. Ben, you're an interesting motherfucker. You're funny as fuck. Uh, Thank you. Um, I guess there's certain things we shouldn't talk about, but I'll just say that you took me on a magical journey to your neighborhood when I gave you a ride home one night after a show. Uh, I warn people, if you give Brock a ride home, prepare to go on a journey. Um, you might not get him there originally, but you'll get him there just because yeah. he's in such a good mood from such an awesome comedy set that he was yeah. elated. That's the yeah. only reason why. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Revised. Revised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. really sad about that to me. Okay, so all of, all of what I love is when I send out this version of a lot of myself, I just edit out. <laughs> I just like, fuck yeah. Fuck him. When I did this two view, I don't know what you, view you have it on, but it's where we're both on the screen. Because when I did the yeah, with Sean before, it felt generic just having him. This way, it's like we're both here for bright by. Look, I can reach over. Yeah. Look, hey, there's my buddy. What's up? Yep. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> easy. No touching. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And I think this is a great thing that could continue on, too. Uh, but yeah, we definitely want to get back out there, man. I miss yeah. humans. I need humans to feed me. Yeah. Without it, yeah. it's just me and that fucking dog and <laughs> although you're essential i'm essential mm -hmm. um which is great uh the human contact i get out of that is good i don't know about you well you guys are very professional there when i come in there like yeah. you're very professional you're like oh, no, no, no. you know and i always yeah. I feel weird. you come into my store dude and i'm running a fucking 10 hour comedy set <laughs> i get yeah. a line of people and they're just like this is the best line ever like, I love my fucking job, dude. I get so many tips. Oh, I'm yeah. a funny guy. I'm not a comedian, though. Yeah. You guys got to teach me how to be a comedian. And then it's sitting in your job, like, you, well, you keep your, your fucking ideas to your fucking self. <laughs> what do you know? It's not like you've ever fucking played Sturgis. What do you know? What do you know? You've never fucking been I put, What's a tour? Paid gigs? <laughs> you know, I have you on this podcast, or this podcast, yeah. to do a professional interview. And you're just going to sit there and lie and make up stories. Lie <laughs> and make up stories. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. yeah, I went to my very first comedy show to go and I met Bobcat. Really? That was amazing. You didn't go. Oh, on I remember one, you telling you? me that. Yeah. Yeah. It was Joe. Joe got me there. Dude, that was, that was crazy, dude. This is all weird to me. 
and then to meet Bobcat Goldright, and then uh, we stayed the very last, so we actually talked to him for like five minutes. And I yeah. had all this stuff I want to say to him, and I'm just like, yeah, you know, you shook. I shook his hand. He's Robin Robin Williams' friend. Robin Williams, yeah. Mork. All right, that's how old I am. Yeah. motherfucking yeah. Mork. Mork and Mindy, yeah. Nanu, Nanu. All right, people try to correct the spelling on that with me all the time. I'm like, bitch, don't you tell me how to spell Slayer. I won't tell you how to spell hippopotamus. All right, there's a lot of essays <laughs> in that word. I don't, I don't get it. Well, shit. So what else, man? Well, oh, so I have to add a legitimate question. Oh, that'll be yeah. sadly edited out. Um, <laughs> what are your plans then? What What do we got going on right now for you? And if we do a series of these, then who knows? Yeah. So right now, I'm working on building my online content to stay relevant uh, during this while I can't perform. So I fucking <laughs> sacrificed all dignity, what little dignity I had as a comedian, and started uh, TikTok. Hey, I'm on there too. I'm on there <laughs> okay. too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm on there. It's a nightmare. Don't scroll through it. Don't scroll through it. First off, it, all dignity, fuck dignity on TikTok because people are fucking with people. Like all those, oh no. Yeah. And there's like an alien demon in Pakistan flying yeah. around. You know, there's people out there that just got a cell phone five years ago, like, oh, no, 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 you know, like, <laughs> and it's the callousness of it all. Like, but yeah. as a promoting tool, Twitch, Joe yeah. and I both yeah. can't figure Twitch to fuck out. But there's I Patreon. And they're all connected, yep. and they're and yeah. you know Facebook's dead, and it's a nightmare, and I hate it. Uh, this yeah, you know these three day suspensions I get. It's like when you fucking can't yeah. find any crack, and you're a crackhead, and you're like, I'm getting better, but I'm unhappy about it because <laughs> yeah, I don't find know. new venues. A bit, I don't know. I, I look at weird shit like what are the kids into on YouTube, and and yeah. literally like TikTok came up, and I was like, oh. but like even yeah. trying to like if I. Just, hand anybody under fucking 25 a card and it says facebook on it they're like you're my dad aren't you i'm like maybe yeah. i am your dad maybe your mother's a whore <laughs> is your mom's yeah. a karen because you look like a karen's daughter yeah where's heckle hold where's on heckle? hold on i want to put you on speaker oh. for this one it's all you buddy where's heckle? yeah i got a few heckler stories so when i filmed my first special wasn't a real special because it's on youtube but fill my first 30 I'll minutes. I need that link. Yeah, too. yeah. Um, this, in the middle of my set, this drunk lady comes in halfway through the show. And I'm sitting there talking. And she thinks it's a conversation. And I was doing my, uh, I was doing my LPA bit, my midget jokes, where I talk about how the LPA says the word midget is like the N-word. And I just completely obliterate that idea. And after my set, Final punchline. She yells from back, and you're not black. And I'm like, well, that was the point of the fucking set. Like, you, just, you completely deconstructed my joke with one drunken Karen, like, fucking horse statement. Yeah. God damn yeah. it, Karen. And, but when, once I, I said, uh, that was the point of the fucking joke, everybody just died laughing. I got a fucking, I, that 30 minutes was the, mo the most amount of applause breaks i've ever gotten to that's this awesome. day oh so man that's great. so good nips get hard that's why i don't wear tight wearing right. shirts on stage i'm like i'm up here <laughs> this really happens to me people laugh at the things that i don't think are funny and it fucking pisses me off i can't figure me out dude um and, yeah and that sounds like but see that's good that's that that's when that yeah. uh the hero story susan jones yeah. who i had no yeah. idea what and who she really is and i when i first met her it was outside the hi-fi and she was just yeah. sitting there talking, and I was like, oh, this must be a stand-up comedian. And then I let in my ear, I hear Dave yeah. Chappelle, blah, 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 blah. And then I hear something else. I'm yeah. like, who the fuck? And then Joe, who was a prodigy of hers, gave me a really yeah. good advice, uh, which was about have, uh, with hecklers, like have some kind of preset stuff ready, some ninja yeah. stars that you can pull out. Because yep, you don't yep. want to offend and turn the crowd against you. You want to turn the crowd against the heckler. And if you can, Hopefully save the heckler. I've seen some evil hecklers that like you wanted to walk up to and just be like, "Fucking, you're done." Yeah. Uh, but yeah. then I've seen some heckling that makes makes a magical, fucking yeah. hilarious moment. Oh yeah. And another great heckling story is I did a show at uh, the Lucky Eagle Casino, and uh, I was <laughs> and uh, I was doing my DUI bit, and leading up to the DUI <laughs> bit, this drunk ass guy. <laughs> the drunk guy fucking hammered was just interrupting me like clockwork every five minutes 
and I get to the DUI bit, and uh, I was like, yeah, if you're uh, here, you know, if you're here, do me a favor, don't drink and drive. Uh, and he goes, I will if you're standing in front of my car or some stupid shit like that. And I go, uh, and then I go, except for you, you drink and drive all you want. I won't stand oh. in front of your car, but I will hand you your fucking keys. <laughs> And the crowd laughed. And he said something else, and I fired back. I can't remember. And then when I fired back, he got up out of his seat and started to rush the stage. Oh, fuck. Like he was about to fight me. I was like, oh, I may have crossed the line here. But then as he's doing that, security grabs him and just drags his ass out of the show. <laughs> and I get a standing ovation from that alone. And I still had like 10 minutes of material. And I'm like, no, it's not going to get any better than this. That's my time. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Dude, that is awesome. Dude, that's the shit. That's funny. That's the shit I've literally, yeah. I always see as seen on TV. That's YouTube videos I've seen of the heckler yeah. coming up. And, but you also yep. see sometimes when the heckler comes up and fucking pops a comedian. But my favorite is when the yeah. comedian's like, uh, I was a Marine. <laughs> and beats the fuck out of a heckler. Because I'll, oh, I'll I smack want, you. I, seek, I secretly want a heckler. To throw a punch at me, I I kind of do. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'll say this, and I think Just, we're almost out of time here, my friend. But yeah. I, this is awesome. Uh, whether or not, yeah. I've got now like eight people want to do these now, so I'm like boom, nice. boom, 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 boom. But we'll be able to set up another one. I'm off the next three days, and of course, I've overwhelmed myself. But me, myself, and I run this company, and Jessica. And so one of us yeah. will try to get in touch with her, and we'll do a, maybe another interview. This was awesome. Yeah. Um, stay yeah, safe. Yeah, thank you for having me on, man. Oh, fuck yeah, that. you thank too. Thank you for you're a real you're a real celebrity. That this is a, I'm just using <laughs> you to fucking garner fucking a roast. I'm afraid to let's let's finish up on that. I'm afraid to roast people because I have a very quick mind that yeah. I don't control, and I'm very yeah. cruel. Yeah, you know, I got some. That's my problem you. too. That's my it's problem too. All about too. being a Sicilian too. I'm probably gonna get fucking yeah. back. Oh yeah. <laughs> And my broccoli joke, though, that one is, I think, was cute. I love that one. <laughs> that was a good joke. I made that up. Yeah, it is. Brock hmm. Torano, fucking, fucking Sturgis comedian, <laughs> open it. I would love to, I could do, we we should, we should do another one. I want to yeah. talk about that, uh, some adventures, yeah. and some good times. Uh, it yeah. had to be some interesting, I mean, that, that volatile mix of, of people, just the bikers alone. Just the yeah. bikers alone. And then the Bob oh, yeah. said it born to be wild while meffed out fucking and just got done laughing and rocking out and fucking after the party. Yeah. Somebody got stabbed. Somebody got stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few stories. Revised. I got quite a few. <laughs> revised. Yes, revised. Revised. All right. So Absolutely. real quick, uh, throw out a couple shout outs for yourself, where people can find you, who you are, and then we'll wrap this up. Yeah. Cool. So definitely check out facebook.com slash funnymanbrock. That is my comedian page. It has all my other links. Uh, TikTok is funnymanbrock, all one word. Same with <laughs> same with Facebook, all one word. And then my Instagram is uh, brock underscore tyranno because my uh, bitch ass ex uh, locked me out of my funnymanbrock Instagram account. So it's love, but a crack horse <laughs> in motion. <laughs> it's so, me again, Ike. Yeah, so we'll call her Baby Gate because she's the one who inspired Baby Gate. So Baby Gate blocked me out of my funny man Instagram. Good so. old BG. Good old BG. If only she did better BJs. All right. All right. Fucking dude, you're awesome. I hope you understand that you're oh. an awesome person. I, I, I dig you, dude. Hey. We've never had a bad time. Um, oh, likewise, and, uh, man. and I'll be seeing you soon because I need more fucking Xbox games. Uh, Perfect. We got plenty at the shop. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah you fucking do. I might come for you guys <laughs> for a PS4. I don't know. We'll see. All right, yeah, man. we're sold out at the moment, but I'll of course you are. You message Remember, when we get one. Everybody's fucking <laughs> sold out of everything. I need some I headphones. All right. Anyway, got headphones. Yeah. You know, I mean, like for recording music with it. I, I looked at your headphones. You do. You have a good selection. I'm I'm a very poor yeah. person. All right, man. Yeah. I'll talk to you later, dude. I'll get this out in the all next right. three or four months, I promise. Uh, Perfect. All right, dude. Thanks a lot.
All right, Dave, much love. Later. Thanks for having me on. Hey, do me a favor for a second and just yeah. kind of nod your head because right now I'm playing the outro and after editing. Yeah. Thank you for listening. This has been a Dire Sin production. Thanks for listening. This has been a Dire Sin production.